I'm Casey, and this is 25 in 52, coming to you today from the porch. Okay, so it was quite the weekend. I had other stuff that I think I wanted to talk about earlier in the week, but I no longer remember it because weekend. Um, my friend Katie, who I don't think you've ever met, got married this weekend and I was in her wedding and it was a lot of fun and you saw a lot of pictures and my nails looked like this. Is that going to be a feature now? Maybe. Um, and I was really convinced that that was going to be really hard for me. Not because, you know, I felt like I was losing her because, you know, Katie's now husband Richard is a lovely dude and has never at all kept her from me or from Jane. It's not that kind of deal. Um, but just because, well, two things. One, uh, we've talked about the fact that it's overwhelming that people keep getting married and stuff. And two, because for me, um, this wedding was kind of the beginning of the end things, right? Like, this was my May thing, and then next month I'm going to General Assembly, and in July I'm going to Summer Institute, and then there's going to come, and then I'm moving, and it feels pretty fast. So I was really concerned that I was going to really, like, lose it about this. Um, also because it's, you know, the first of my friend's weddings that I've actually been to. But really, um, I found the experience really freeing. It felt right for that to be happening, and I felt like I was in the right place for once, so that was cool. Um, it was a really, I mean, a really busy long weekend, and you can ask me questions about it if you want, but what I really got out of it was that, one, we're all going at different speeds, and that's totally fine, just absolutely and incredibly fine. Um, two, when I get out of my own way and stop worrying so much about how people feel about me. People really like me. So wedding and then there was church stuff yesterday morning and then there was a really unsettling dream which I already told you about and then there was seeing my therapist this morning and then I went and saw a movie because I was just not done. I've done too many things in the past th three days. I don't know how long it's even been. Anyway, so I went and saw a movie and had dinner with a couple of girls that I used to work with, and um, I asked them for a kind of some insight on 25. So here's what Emily and Amanda had to say. There you go. So being 25 is this awkward time where you're still not a teenager, but you're not an adult yet, so you're just trying to find your bearings, and you're kind of off in the world. And the really cool thing about being 25 is you really kind of are starting to find who you are. And you're finding the people that make you a better person and, you know, really forming those connections. So, have fun when you're 25. <laughs> Don't have too much fun. Well, being 25 is about finding, finding out about who you are, I think. And trying to figure out what makes you happy um, and who makes you happy. So... It's a difficult time, but you'll get through it. So, I think that's all I'm going to talk about this week. I have a lot of other stuff happening in my head. Thoughts about um, working on being in the present, because I'm having a lot of like, I'm in the past, I'm in the future, I'm in the past, I'm in the future, and it's, it's exhausting. Um, but those thoughts aren't ready yet, so I'll get them to you when they're ready. And also, apparently, I have some thoughts about aid work, because I just babbled to my mom on the phone about them for about ten minutes. But, um, in the interest of keeping this video seven minutes, I'm going to tell a story about this weekend. I'm going to tell two stories about this weekend. And then I'm going to go. <laughs> So, story number one, possibly my favorite moment of the entire wedding day was, um, it was like 4.30, maybe 5 o'clock, and we had, I'd been up since 9 and I hadn't eaten anything, and uh, people who had eaten had only like had a donut. So we were all, the whole wedding party was kind of running on nothing, and we'd been driving around, we took all the pictures, and we finally stopped at Richard's house to get a snack. and. 
it was like we were locusts. We just swarmed, we were well-dressed locusts, swarmed in and started just being like, oh my God, I need to eat these things. Um, and one of my favorite moments was we, I had another guy and I had ripped apart uh, rolls and made sandwiches out of them. And we were eating those sandwiches and we looked across the room and we're like, oh, there was regular bread. But it was, it was kind of great. Um, and then number two is uh, I made the fabulous decision of going out uh, downtown after the reception. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm aware. Um, and so we're at this bar where there are tables that you can dance on. And I'm up on the table, like, into it, right? And this guy that um, Jane and Katie knew in high school, who we used to all hang out with, too, is apparently pretty excitedly telling Jane about how awesome it is that I don't give an F what people think about me. And what's awesome about that second story, uh, one, dancing on tables is awesome, but two, um, sometimes I do that and it's, it's affected. You know, I'm pretending I don't care. In that moment, that night, and really since then, I really don't care. I don't have time to be worried about people. I got stuff to do. So that's it for this week. I might uh, film my cat a little bit so you can get in some cute action. Um, but I will see you next week, Internet and Melly. I'll see you this weekend.